do you want a warp command in vanilla minecraft without any mods, plugins or data packs? Then this video is for you. Simply type in one command and get teleported to your desired location. In this mini series I will show you how to make this command and add some fun and handy twists to it. Keep on watching to find out how to do this. So stop wasting your time and start making it. Hello everyone, I am Mr. Games and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I am making a teleportation command, a warp command to be specific. In order to make this you need to have cheats enabled on your world since we are going to use command blocks. Also I recommend using this for single player only since I think there is a chance it will break when using this in multiplayer. Keep in mind while making this that the, this command will only work when the command blocks are loaded in. So if the command blocks are in spawn chunks, everything should be working just fine. With a data pack, it should be working all the time if the commands are implemented into the data pack. So this is how the command is going to work. You will type in slash trigger warp or whatever you want the command to be. Um, set and then the corresponding number 1, 2, 3 or 4 or etc. Et um, sadly you can not use words here. This is because of Minecraft. The, I can't do anything about it, it's just how it works. So let's get started with the tutorial. So we are going to start off with making a scoreboard called warp. We do this by typing slash scoreboard objectives add warp trigger. Basically what this does, you are going to add a new scoreboard objective called warp. And it is a trigger type. We need this for the command later on. So it's important that it is trigger. I am also going to show the scoreboard in the tab list. This is optional, but this way I can see whenever the value is changed. You do this by simply typing slash scoreboard objectives set display list warp. And as you can see, you, um, I have a zero next to my name in the tab list. This means the value of the um, trigger is zero. So the next thing you want to do is enable the scoreboard. This means we can use the command with slash trigger and then warp. As you can see now it doesn't recognize warp yet. So for this you will need a command block. To get a command block you are going to type slash give then your player name and then command block and then press enter and you should receive a new command block. Then place the command block down and make sure it's facing upwards so make sure you're right above it and open it up. Make sure it is on repeat, it's unconditional and it needs redstone. This way you can easily disable it. Then make sure you're in the chat box and type scoreboard players enable add a warp. This means we're going to retrieve the scoreboard warp and enable it for all players. Add A means all players. Then press done and get a block of redstone. Place it down next to the um, command block and you should see this pop up in chat. This means um, the command is working fine. And now as you can see we can use slash trigger warp set 1. As you can see in tab list it's now 1. And now I'm going to put it back um, just to be safe so we don't get teleported right away when it's 1. So to do that you simply type slash trigger warp set 0 and it should be back to 0. After we've enabled the trigger command, we want to teleport the player to a specific spot. I already made the three spots I want to teleport to. I'm picking location 1. So I want to teleport onto this block right here. Now to do that you need to get the location of the block above it. So what you're going to do, you're going to place down 
a block on top of the block you want to teleport to, hover, hover over it with your mouse and open up chat. Then type set block and then press space once and press tab fries. Then you should get three different numbers. Copy those numbers and exit chat again and you can remove this temporary block. Once you've done that, return to the command block you've already placed down and place a command block facing up on top of it. Open it up, make it chain, unconditional and always active. Then write into the console command tp add a square bracket open scores equals to a cumulative open warp equals to one a cumulative close square bracket close press space once and paste in the location you just got nothing should happen yet then go back to the spot if you want uh, people to look into a certain direction when they get teleported so the first block I want them to teleport this way so they look this way open up your F3 and look to this specific bit facing south towards positive C or facing north etc then look at those two numbers keep them in mind so the first number is the left and right as you can see the second number is the up and down level from your head so how you're moving your head so i want them to face directly this way and so that for me is rounded off zero zero so what i want to do now keep those numbers in mind and go back to my command block open it and Press space once and those numbers you've just memorized, put them in here and they, these numbers should be green. After you've done that, this command would look like this. So you're going to TP the player, every player with the score with warp 1 to this spot. So press done, nothing should happen yet. Now. You've just set up the first warp. Now, don't try it out yet, because if you do, you will get stuck. If you did do it, check the description on how to get out of that problem. So the next step is optional. Adding a tell roll when we teleport to the location. This will be something like teleported to and then the name of the warp. So let's say teleported to and let's say warp 1. Here you can use normal words and you don't have to place numbers. So to do this you have to place another command block on top of the other ones facing upwards again. Open it up and make the command block chain, conditional and always active. Then type tell roll add a Square bracket open, cumulative bracket open, two of those high uh, things, texts, and like that. It's very important to have it like this. Then, once this, then you can put in now teleport, teleporting to double point space. Two of those. The space is very important, otherwise, it's going to paste the next bit right onto this so make sure the space is here then a comma two of those high things again color two of those high things double point two of the high things and then red and cumulative close what this does is going to put the text right here with this now teleporting to and then the color will be red now it's not done yet so we're going to place a comma again and put two of those accumulative next to each other inside of those accumulative uh, we're going to put another text and right in there we will write 
um, the name of the first warp. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to call it um, YouTube since it's for YouTube. Then we're going to add the color again, same way, but now we're going to make it gray. So it won't look the same. Then close it off with square bracket again and everything should turn yellow. That means it is good. Now that should be it. Nothing should happen yet. If you want to know which colors you can use, there's a picture on the screen right now. Alright, on to the next step, which is setting the scoreboard back to zero, which is very important because otherwise the command blocks will keep TPing and sending us the tell roll. We don't, wa don't want that to happen because then you're stuck. This step is pretty easy. Basically, place another command block on top of, top of the others and make it chain, unconditional and always active. Then put in scoreboard players set at a warp zero. Basically what this does is it will always set every tick, so 20 ticks per second, so 20 times a second it will set warped back to zero for every player. As soon as you press done, this chat will be fl flooded. So then type in chat slash game rule command block output false. This should stop the flood as you can see and this basically means that um, what the command blocks does you won't see in chat. Now it is finally time to test out your warp. Simply type slash trigger warp set 1 and you should see magic happening. As you can see we've teleported to location number 1 and if you look in tab our warp is set back to 0. Perfect. Also the Telraw has been uh, showed into the chat. Now if you want this to be gone, just type slash game rule send command feedback false. Now if you would do it again now, you won't see this triggered warp set value to 1 in chat. So you won't so you will only see now teleporting to and then the warp name. Alright, time to uh, add some more warps. This will go a bit different since we are going to use the same command block tower. Now, in order to add more warps, we will need to remove the highest command block, but we will need it later on, so we will copy the command block with this MBT inside with control middle mouse button. As you can see, as I hover over it, it shows um, that it has MBT inside of it and when I place it down it has the commands inside it so it's pretty useful so you can easily copy a command block with its MBT inside so when you've done that it's pretty much the same thing make sure to remove it as well go to the location you want uh, to teleport to place a block on top copy the coordinates Memorize the position they want you want to, them to look to. For me, that's one eighty zero. Go back to the command block chains. Place a command block on top, which is chain unconditional and is always active. Type tp add a square bracket open scores equals to a commutative open warp equals to two because there's a second warp. Commutative close, square bracket close, space, paste it in, put your memorized position for your face in, and that should be it. If you want to add the tell row again, it's pretty easy. Just copy the other tell row command right here with control middle mouse click and place it on top. It will show that, but that's just because. Then change YouTube to the name of your second warp. Let's call it tutorial make sure it's conditional again I don't know why but it always changes it back to unconditional and now it should stop the flood then basically you're done but make sure to place the back to zero command block on top again and you should be good to go check if the first warp is still working it works great 
second warp if that works fine and as you can see my head's changed around that means those two warps are working this way you can add as many warps as you want but make sure the number of the warp is always different so don't have two warps with one because then it will mess up i think that is it for this warp system tutorial but next video of this mini series i will show you how to make the wall warp system or one warp system only available to a certain team i hope this tutorial helps if it did make sure to subscribe and like and if you have any suggestions for tutorials please leave them in the comments I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!